yo, what is up Yacht Squad and welcome back to the vlog. I feel like my past three vlogs, I've started my vlog in the same exact place. I'm getting ready to jump in the Jeep right now and head and go grab some food. It's looking like it's gonna be a pretty gloomy day here in Syracuse, so really not too sure what I have planned, not too sure what to do. It's definitely been raining a lot, but I'm not too sure if I wanna go mudding today since I did just get the Jeep washed yesterday, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. I decided to head over to Dunkin' Donuts and grab myself an iced coffee, and Rachel's currently working a double shift today, 10.45, in the morning until nine o'clock at night. So while I was at Dunkin', I decided I would get Rachel an iced coffee since she loves Dunkin' and bring it to her work and surprise her. And that got me thinking, what if I gave Rachel a different type of surprise? She's working until nine and I wanna surprise her with something when she comes home. It's not gonna be what she's expecting and I don't think it's gonna be what you guys are expecting either. So I'm gonna head to Rachel's work, drop off this iced coffee, and then we need to go run some errands. So we just got over to our destination. Right now I am waiting for yesterday's vlog to go up. I don't want to tell you guys where we are just yet, but I'm going to give you guys a little hint. Back when I used to live in LA and Las Vegas, I used to have a pet python. His name was Roscoe. And when we ended up moving to New Jersey, I was trying to figure out a way to be able to transport Roscoe from LA to New Jersey. It was seeming to be extremely difficult. I just couldn't really figure out exactly how to transport him. So unfortunately, we had to end up getting rid of Roscoe. Now, the reason I'm telling you guys this is because Rachel wasn't really a big fan of snakes. She didn't really like them, but she held Roscoe a couple times warmed up to him as soon as yesterday's vlog goes up we're gonna head into our destination I'm gonna show you guys where we are in a minute and I have a feeling this vlog is gonna be extremely entertaining I never fully understood why people thought it was a good idea to put eyelashes on their cars but hey this license plate is groovy <laughs> anyways we are heading into the store right now I decided to come over to PetSmart and I want to see like what kind of maybe crazy exotic semi disgusting people might think they're disgusting I don't I think all crazy creatures are beautiful. But let's see what kind of crazy animals they have in the pet store. This couple walked in with a dog. It's a chow chow. Oh yeah, you're a puppy, so you like to bite. You like to bite. They haven't picked out a name yet, but they're thinking blue. This dog is absolutely adorable. So fluffy. So one of the employees here actually ended up yelling at me because I guess I wasn't supposed to be recording in here. This PetSmart doesn't have anything that I'm looking for anyways. I'm trying to get something a little crazy. All they really had here was like chameleons, a couple different types of geckos and stuff like that. But it was super cute seeing that dog here. That's definitely one of the cutest dogs I think I've ever seen. I guess with that being said, we're gonna try heading over to maybe like Petco. Since I feel like most PetSmarts will probably carry the same type of amphibious reptiles. We're gonna try Petco instead. Just made it over to Petco. I'm gonna try being a little more discreet with the camera this time, so hopefully I don't get in trouble for recording. They got little baby bearded dragons here. These things are so cool. And then this is what I used to have right here, a fancy ball python. You guys can't really see too well because the glass is all dirty, but I'm striking out for what I'm looking for. A lot of these places just have lizards and like chameleons and snakes. That's not what I'm looking for. Well, just my luck. Petco didn't have anything, but they actually referred me to this place. It's called Axe Exotic Pet Shop. I just gave him a call. It's like, yeah, we got scorpions, we got spiders, we got all that good stuff. So it's about a 15 minute drive from where I am right now. So I'm gonna head over there and it's actually like a mom and pop shop. I'm gonna try talking with the owner and see if he can give me permission to record in there. And I guess we'll see what creepy crawly thing we can walk out of there with. Just made it over to the exotic pet shop. Let's see what they got here. So we're looking at some uh, some spiders over here and there is a golden baboon in here. He said this spider is pretty aggressive so probably wouldn't recommend getting this one. Is this one big? I don't know. We're gonna find you out. You don't know? <laughs> she hasn't come out. Oh, I see, I see the legs. Ooh, do they jump? Mm, I don't know. I don't really want to find out. Wow, that is... Crazy. That's a big spider. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, maybe not, maybe something not so aggressive. Little Mexican red knee. This one's just a baby. It's so tiny. They are not very aggressive. They're actually a pretty uh, docile tarantula. And you said you don't really like spiders that much either, do you? Not a fan. Yeah. And they get about that big when they're full grown. That's a big spider. Like, so I would have to upgrade the tank eventually. Yeah, like the... you'd want to go a little bit bigger. This is a Mexican fire light. Oh, that one's big as Ooh, yeah, they're uh. Yeah, that one tried to bite. He's quick too, and these ones aren't really friendly. Mm. Not the friendliest. He's not super aggressive. He's just a little fast, and that's an adult male. And what do you feed them? Crickets? Yep, crickets, roaches, superworms. This I'm not 100% sure about. It's right there. No, oh, there he is. And that's a nandu cromatus. 
What happened to just like regular tarantulas? And they got a full <laughs> container of mealworms down here. These things are disgusting. I should just buy a thousand of these and pour them on her while she's sleeping. And then he also has Pretty a aggressive. dune scorpion here. Very fast, but not our border or anything. You don't want to get stung by that. It is venomous. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, so. they have it's like, you know, the venom's kinda like a bee sting, but it's Probably worse. Probably worse. Okay. With these guys, the smaller their claws, they really say the more potent their venom is. Really? They can't really subdue their prey. Um, so scorpions aren't claws. really for holding, they're kind of just for show, I guess. Right. He's yeah, hiding gonna, under there now. I'm gonna give him a cricket here. He's gonna feed him a cricket right now. Is he gonna hit the cricket with his venom? He might. I don't know what they call that thing. That's a cricket. No, not the cricket, oh. the stinger on him. Not really hungry. Hmm. He might be more upset than anything, because I'm kind of taunting him right now. So he's angling his tail there. Yeah. He wants to, but it's not really a, If he's not hungry... He won't eat it. He might not, no. Oh, there he goes. He just... Oh, he got it. So now with scorpions, how do they eat it? Do they suck the, the blood out they, of it, or...? No, they just chew it. Oh, so they have, like, little teeth? Oh, yeah, they got mandibles. That's interesting. Learn something new every day, I guess. Yeah, he is a little bigger. And this is what type of scorpion? That's a yellow leg burrowing scorpion. Oh. Yeah, he's a big one. Scorpions are so cool. They got a huge red tail boa over here. I want to get one of these. I'd have nowhere to put a tank this size, though. They also have an emerald tree boa, which is what I want next. They got everything here. They even got a parrot. Hello, can you talk? I don't know if these ones even talk. I don't know nothing about birds, but I bet you if I stuck my finger in there, they would biting it off. Oh yeah, look at you down there. I ended up going with the fire like tarantula. I got it in the back seat right now. I told my mom earlier I had some errands to run and then I was gonna come visit her. First, we're gonna head to my mom's house and I'm gonna scare her with this tarantula and then we're gonna wait for Rachel to get out of work and then we're gonna scare her with the tarantula. This is gonna be interesting. Alrighty guys, so I ended up making a little detour. I came to my grandma's house first since it's on the way to my mom's. So I got a box of shoes in the back. I'm gonna empty the shoes out and then I'm gonna put the tarantula inside the shoe box. I'm gonna bring it inside and make up some sort of, you know, believable gag like, oh, hey, Graham, I went to the thrift store today and I got you a little something. I didn't have any wrapping paper to wrap it in, so I put it in a shoe box. Hopefully, I don't give my grandma a heart attack, but I definitely hope this reaction is priceless. So I'm gonna hurry up, get the tarantula in the shoe box, and then we're gonna head inside. I know it's a little dark, but we got the tarantula in the shoe box, and I need to hurry up and close this thing before he gets out. You know how the other day I told you I was like going to the thrift store and stuff like that? Looking for bugs. Yeah, well, I went to the thrift store and I got you a gift. I didn't have anything to wrap it in, so I put it, it in a shoebox. Huh? Better not be alive. From the thrift store? Well, I don't know. Well, check it out. Let me know what you think. The only other thing I could think. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a <laughs> <laughs> That was great. Did you believe it? I gotta kill you. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> I thought I was gonna give grandma a heart attack. I was nervous, but that was it. He almost came out of the box, too. He was ready to get out of there. Is that alive? Yeah, it's alive. Get that thing up. There's a hole in the side over He's there. way too big to come out of that tiny oh little hole. Oh my god. Get that son of a <laughs> out of here. No. This is as big as your freaking snake you had. Oh, this is not. This is worse than the snake I had. Oh my god. Because, for this reason right here. You're well, I'm actually on the way to mom's house because I'm going to do the same thing to mom. Oh, I'm going to call her. No, don't. Please don't. Please don't. And then I'm doing it to Rachel too, so. I'm going to tell you what. If your mother doesn't kill you, she, you're going to be goddamn lucky. I thought it was a plastic one. It got on the floor. You're <laughs> no, that's, that's what. You're going to be dead because I'm going to. No, no you would not have. So I definitely just got a great reaction from my grandma. And as you guys can tell, my grandma knows how scared my mom is of spiders. So got the tarantula back in his aquarium in the back. And now we're going to head to my mom's house. This is going to be great. My mom might actually... I don't even want to know. Alrighty guys, so we just made it over to my mom's house and I gotta say, I'm extremely nervous for how she's gonna react to this. Extremely nervous. Well, guess let's get right into it. Got the magical scary shoe box right in the back. I just got over to my mom's house and I'm trying to tell her that I can't tell her what's in the box because it could possibly ruin the clickbait for this video. So you just have to come open it. Is it really a surprise for me or is it just clickbait? No, it, no it's actually a surprise for you. I knew you were up to something. Why? Because you're like, at 4 o'clock I'm coming over. Yeah, I had to run errands. At 
5 o'clock, I'm coming over. And then, oh, I'm on my way. Yeah, I had to run errands. grandma with it too. She almost had a heart attack. She thought it was plastic. Get that out of my house. I'm gonna let it go and run all over no, the place. They do get loose, just like your freaking yeah, I know. I'm gonna let it loose and just let it run all around, all right? I thought it was gonna be like a ladder or something. Nope. So. Why? Because of how light it was? Yeah. Yeah, nope. That is a Mexican fire leg tarantula. You're gonna take it back? No. I'm keeping it. I got an aquarium for it and everything. It's in the car. Cody. What? <laughs> I'm keeping it at my office. I'm not even coming to your office anymore. <laughs> it's alright, it'll be in the cage. They get loose and then you can't find them. I hear it all the time. Well, if he gets loose in that building, nobody's gonna find him. Oh my god. Since I came over to my mom's house, I figured now would be a good time to set up Archie's tank. That's his name, by the way. Oh, Ar Archie. Yeah, Archie the Arachnid. Pretty cool looking, huh? It's a uh, Mexican fire leg tarantula. Uh, it's over here. Rachel just texted me and she ended up getting out of work early. I told her that I got her a surprise and she goes, oh, what is it? I said, a secret. I said, I didn't have any wrapping paper to wrap it, so it's in a shoe box. She says, is it for my birthday? Rachel's birthday's in four days, so I'm going to tell her it's an early birthday present. She is going to kill me. I ended up leaving my mom's house. I'm just getting back home right now. It's raining outside pretty hard right now, and I put the tarantula in his aquarium. I got to manage to get him from the aquarium into the shoe box without, like, Rachel peeking out the window. Let's make this quick. All right, Rach, you ready for your surprise? You guys that are watching right now already know what it is, but now Rachel's got to find out what it is. Early any guesses? Present? Yeah, any guesses what it is? Don't pick it up. You can't pick it up because it might give it away. I don't know. Can I have a hint? Nope. All right, are you ready? It's a. If it was a kitten, it'd be moving around and meowing. I mean, I would love a kitten, but... Are right, you ready? Yeah, open it up. I don't want to. Just open it. Wild. This is too much. This is too much. Bring that back right now. Absolutely not. This is not staying in the house. No, it's not. It's coming to my office. Bring this on me. I'll put it on you no, while you're sleeping. I, I will literally chop your off. I promise. Luch, you want to see it? No. No. Me, me, me. No, because Luch will end up hitting the box and the thing will get loose in the house. That's exactly why it's not staying here because I'm not sleeping and then it'll be covered around. All right, open it. Luch. You want to see Luch? No. Oh, Look. Think Look it's it. fun. Big it's spider. spider. It's a tarantula. Uh, okay. Say no. it. No. He's like, okay, no. let me see it. Luch, no. can you say tarantula? Uh, yeah, Bridget. What? 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 Say, say tarantula. tarantula. Uh, let me touch it. Wait, no. no. Okay. Uh, oh, I want to touch it. Do you have a surprise for me? No. This was your surprise. I don't want that. Well, too bad. This is no, what you're getting. No, no, no. <laughs> Look at they make the dogs go crazy. Oh <laughs> We just ended up getting over to the office where we're gonna be keeping Archie and uh, we got his tank all set up and everything I got some gears on top of it that are like decoration, but they're also heavy enough to keep the top on So uh little guy doesn't get out because that could definitely cause some panic I wish you guys could see right now. You can see his eyes and his fangs and everything. It's crazy looking Let me see if you can see his fangs from over here. Yeah, it's it's a little hard to see. I don't know This guy's pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of spiders, but this is sick. As the day is starting to come to an end, Rachel and I are getting ready to head off to this place. It's called Insomnia Cookie. They have some of the best cookies there, but since I'm back to being vegan, I'm not gonna be able to eat any of them. But that's definitely not gonna stop Rachel from getting any. And I always kept wondering, like, why do they call it Insomnia Cookie? But I guess they call it Insomnia Cookie because they're open until like four or five o'clock in the morning. We just got over to Insomnia Cookies. Let's uh, let's see what they got in here. I've never been here before. Oh my God, it smells so good in here. Let's see what they got. Oh, they got ice cream in Stuff. Too bad I can't eat any of this. That sucks. Yo, deluxe triple chocolate chunk. Oh my god, these cookies look so good. Sorry your day sucked. My day was actually great. So Rachel ended up getting a six pack of cookies. What'd you get over here? I'll show you the best one first. Wow. What is that, s'mores? Yeah. Wow, that looks so good. All right, what's in the box Oh my though? god, it smells delish. 
This is just a tease right now because I can't eat any of these. What do we got? Some macadamia nizza, peanut butter, peanut butter, snickerdoodle, chip. and chocolate chip. Oh I'm my god, that looks so good. I think with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I feel like this may have been one of my best vlogs ever. If you guys enjoyed this video and want more videos like this, do me a favor, hit that like button and also share this video to your friends. Post it on Facebook, post it on Twitter. I'm gonna be sharing your guys' posts on Facebook. I'm gonna be retweeting your tweets. I'm gonna be liking your stuff on Instagram. And if you guys also want more content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then turn on my post notifications so whenever I post a new video, you guys get updated. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for all the support lately and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.